wanna know I don't care, I don't care anymore <laughs>
Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson, P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Octavia Spencer. But not only that, if it were easy, there'd be no Viola Davis. If it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So keep working. Keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. We tend to base our self-esteem on what other people think. And that's not really self-esteem. Self-esteem is supposed to be how we feel about ourselves. And I was just saying how dangerous it is to allow other people to determine how you're gonna feel about you. And it's kind of like looking into a broken mirror. You're gonna look in a broken mirror and then change your face to try to look good in this defiled, busted, broken mirror. And it, it just other people's opinions is a really shitty way to determine how we feel about ourselves. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. I'll say it again. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. Now, I've been blessed to make hundreds of millions of dollars in my life. I can't take it with me and neither can you. So it's not how much you have, it's what you do with what you have. And we all have different gifts. Some money, some love, some patience, some the ability to touch people, but we all have it. Use it, share it. That's what counts. Not what you're driving, not what you're flying in, not what kind of house you bought your mama. Dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel disappointment. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. I pray that you all put your shoes way under the bed that night so that you gotta get on your knees in the morning. The one thing I'm the most happy about in terms of my career is the fact that I got there with the grace of God, first of all, but short of that, I got there just by working hard, not partying with the right people, not compromising myself in any way or cutting any kind of deals, just by working hard, just by plugging along, sawing wood as I like to call it. I'm a 20 year overnight sensation. I don't get life mixed up with making a living. I was there for all four of my children being born. When the first one was born, I recognized the difference between life and making a living. Their life, you know, our family is life. You know, acting is making a living. Well, what do you think the biggest difference between doing a play and doing, I mean, it's a cliched question, but I'd be interested to know mm -hmm. your answer. I, I think a part of what Viola just said is that you get to dig deeper and you get another day. Right. And you get the energy. Mm -hmm. You do a movie and it's 200 people that are used to it and they don't care and you, everybody's doing their job and mm -hmm. it comes in a theater somewhere and you, you know, you're picking your nose at home somewhere, cl cl right. clipping your nails. There's no energy. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. When I was on, on, on Broadway five years ago with Julius Caesar, I made a decision to sign autographs every night. I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, it ain't happening this time. No. <laughs> <laughs> only as I rub my knees, only because my knees are bad, it's hard for me to stand. But, and why did you decide to do that? Well, you know, I wanted to say thank you. Uh -huh. It was my way of saying thank you. Mm -hmm. And the first night, it, it was like 5,000 people out there. I said, okay, wait a minute. Everybody who has playbills from our show. So, <laughs> yeah, because it was like people were just wandering up the block. I was like, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm on, you know, 42nd Street, Times Square. I was like, wait a minute. But honestly, you were signing for weeks. the energy. And I was out there an hour and a half every night, every wow. show. But the energy you got back, the stories, the five little old ladies who 
who just drove in from Detroit. And I'm like, well, what y'all doing tonight? They said, we're getting back in the car, baby. We got to go back tonight. Wow. And you know, a little 84-year-old lady was wow. like, baby, if I was three years younger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true story. True story. <laughs> then we had, we, we had and, 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 and I say this also, because oh I hope God. it happens with this play. We had uh, some high schools come. We had one school from somewhere, I forgot where, and they were doing Julius Caesar. And some young yeah. kid was like, well, you know, my Brutus is a bit different. You know? <laughs> He's more of the classic stoic. And, uh, but it was great to in, engage and in, 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 in exchange with these young people. With, it was, uh, there was an energy. I, I got more from it than I gave to, to huh. the people that I signed for. That's, you know, you, you don't get that. Uh, you know, the odd thing about success in film is, is the budgets get bigger, you make more money, but they become more formulaic. Mm. Yes. So you don't get mm. the opportunity. So I, God willing, if I stay around long enough, this is what I'm gonna be doing. You know, you're always affected by opinion, but the, the, the more opinions there are of you, the, of, of me, the more I, the less I look at them because I just can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think, you know, it's just not healthy. I, I don't think I'll con I could continue to do what I do if I was constantly worrying about what somebody thought about it. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. You don't have to compromise yourself. Yeah. You know, if there's something you don't feel good about, then don't do it. The most important choices I've made was to say no. And I've said no many a time to, to films that I just didn't, especially early on, that I just didn't feel comfortable. Uh, they, uh, they, there was one script that was brought to me. I called it the <laughs> they couldn't kill. Because they, they, they were like, he was accused of raping his wife you know, in the forties, and they were, they tried to hang him, but he didn't die. You know? And they tried to electrocute him. You know? They were like, it's a comedy. I'm like, it ain't funny to, funny to me. So. I actually called Sidney Poitier, who I was fortunate at that time to instill, to be able to call. And I said, you know, this movie is making, I'm sick. And they offered me $600,000 to play the they couldn't kill. <laughs> That's what I called. I wasn't there. And he said to me, and I'll say this to you, he said, the first two or three or four films you make in this industry, Denzel, will determine how you proceed. He said, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but remember that the first three or four or five films you made will determine how you proceed. I turned it down. I turned the money down. I needed the money. I turned it down. Six months later, I got cry freedom. So, that, and that, so stick to your guns. If you, if, you, if you don't feel like you should do it, then don't do it. Because you don't want to be... You, you know, you don't want to be a negative energy on the set. That's how I feel. So I'm like, you know, I ain't doing this because I'm going to slap somebody the second day. <laughs> so I just, you know, it's, it's some, I think the most important decisions you can make as an actor, actress, is saying no. Is saying no. You don't have to take your clothes off if you don't want to. Number one. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things, everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. In everything you do, if you think you want to do what you think I've done, then do what I've done.
can't look you in the face I don't wanna have to lie I wanted this love to survive Now when I look in your heart I feel paralyzed
Pero que 